Yeah, you know, it's increasingly clear that prosecutors want to help the jury understand how and where eight members of the Roden family died on a single night more than six years ago. Today's focus, crime scene number three, where Dana Roden and two of her children were killed. This is what the property where Dana Roden was shot to death in April 2016 looks like today. Brian White, a former Ohio BCI agent who processed the crime scene, took jurors who will determine George Wagner's fate back in time to when he found the lifeless bodies of Dana and two of her children, 16-year-old Chris Roden Jr. and 19-year-old Hannah Roden. You can see some blood um, on the, the bed sheet. In methodical detail, White testified about how he found each victim while jurors looked at graphic photos. White said Chris Jr. was in the first bedroom that he entered. He was laying in bed uh, on his stomach. Um, he was covered by a red comforter, and it appeared that he'd been shot multiple times in the head. White also described finding pillows oddly arranged on and next to Dana Roden. There was one that was covering her face, uh, and then there was one beside her. It didn't appear that there were any bullet holes in them or anything. Um, just uh, They were just placed around her head for whatever reason. Back in Chris Jr.'s room, White said he noticed a cell phone cord plugged into the wall on the night of the murders, but no phone. And did you look in Chris Jr.'s room for uh, the phone that belonged to that cord? We, yes, not only in the room, but in the entire residence. Okay. Um, we checked and still couldn't find a phone. Now, today's testimony came to an abrupt end because it appears that one member of the jury wasn't feeling very well. But the trial is set to resume tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock with Brian White back on the stand, followed by the coroner who conducted the autopsies on those three victims found at the third of four different crime scenes. Reporting live tonight in Waverly, Todd Dykes, WLWT News.